Okay, this lesson is all about area, and area is the amount of space inside a flat shape, a shape that you can draw on paper. So things like rectangles are flat or two-dimensional, and a rectangle is the simplest example. The area of a rectangle is the base times the height, so how long it is along the bottom times how high it is. So just write that down, pause the film if you need to. Right, so here's an example. It's a rectangle, 8 centimeters along the bottom, 5.5 centimeters high. So the area is the base times the height, which is 8 times 5.5, which is 44. Now, the important thing here is that the area is given in centimeters squared. If you start with centimeters and centimeters for the lengths, then the area is in a, in a different kind of unit square units. So remember square units for area. Write that down and pause the film until you're ready to move on. Okay moving on. Example 2, another rectangle 7 centimeters and 0 0.025 meters. Now the problem here is a mixture of centimeters and meters. So what I've done here is changed the meters into centimeters. So I start off with area is base times height, which is 7 centimeters times 0 0.025 meters, and then I've changed 0 0.25 meters into 2.5 centimeters because there's 100 centimeters in a meter, so I get 7 times 2.5, which is 17.5, and that's in centimeters squared. Remember square units for area. So just remember, if there is a mixture of different types of units, change the units before you work the answer out. So I've changed it so that it's all in the same type, centimeters both times. So write that down, pause the film to write it down, and move on when you're ready. Okay, triangles. Now if we take a triangle, you can make a copy of it, split that copy in two right down the middle, and move the pieces around until they make here it comes a rectangle so basically two triangles that are the same can be put together to make a rectangle so a triangle is half of a rectangle in other words so a rectangle can be broken down into two identical triangles. Identical is eins in Danish. We know that rectangle area is base times height. Therefore, triangle area is half base times height, or 0.5 times base times height, in other words. So write that down, pause the film, move on when you're ready. So here's an example. It's a rectangle. It's no, it's not a rectangle, it's a triangle. Six centimeters along the bottom, five centimeters on the slant here, and four centimeters high, straight up from top to bottom. That's called the perpendicular height, and that just means that it's at 90 degrees or right angles, radwinkled uh, in Danish, to the ground. And that's the important number to use. So area equals 0 0.5 times base times height. So that's 0 0.5 times 6, because 6 is the base, and then times 4, because 4 is the height. You use the number straight up from top to bottom, not the 5. The 5 is not relevant. So 0 0.5 times 6 times 4 gives you 12 centimeters squared. And the important thing to remember there is use the vertical height, the height straight up from top to bottom. So write that down. Okay, moving on. Another example. Now in this one, we don't have the height from top to bottom. We know it's 1.5 centimeters on the slant here 
and we know it's two centimeters on the slant here but we don't know how high it is from the highest point to the lowest point but we can rotate the diagram because it's got a 90 degree angle in it and if we turn it around like this so there's the 1.5 there's the 2 there's the 2.5 but looking at it this way it's 1.5 on the base and 2 centimeters straight up so we can say the area is 0.5 times the base times the height which is 0.5 times 1.5 times 2 and that all comes to 1.5 and that's in centimeters squared again so just remember sometimes we need to rotate the triangle so that it has a vertical height write that down pause the film move on when you're ready right compound shapes compound means put together and sometimes you get a diagram in a question that's not a simple shape but it's a mixture of lots of simple shapes put together so this is like a picture of a church you've got all sorts of measurements on and the trick is to break it down into different parts so you need to break the shape down into the different parts to work out any missing values just write that down okay so we've broken the shape down into three simple shapes a triangle and two rectangles so I'm calling the whole area the triangle area plus the area of rectangle A plus the area of rectangle I'm going to call it B now starting with the triangle it's 4.5 centimeters high we don't know how far it is along the bottom but we can work it out because there's 7.5 at the top here 9.5 at the bottom so the difference must be 2 centimeters so the triangle is 2 centimeters along the bottom now next rectangle A we know it's 2 centimeters wide we know from top to bottom of the whole church is 10 centimeters we know that this bit here is 4.5 so the difference is 5.5 so we know that the height of rectangle A is 5.5 so what can we do now area is the triangle area plus the rectangle area plus the other rectangle area so it's 0.5 times base times height in that triangle plus base times height in triangle A plus base times height in triangle B so I've started off by working out the triangle 0.5 times 2 times 4.5 next I'm working out the rectangle 2 centimeters times 5.5 centimeters and finally I'm going to work out the second rectangle 3 centimeters by 7.5 centimeters here 7.5 times 3 it doesn't matter which order you multiply numbers in so working that out 4.5 plus 11 plus 22.5 comes to 38 centimeters squared so write that all down keep your work neat keep everything lined up so that it's easy to follow and now it's time to practice some questions <laughs>